Imagine this, you've just uploaded your best video ever on YouTube. And fortunately for you, it is gaining traction fast. Then suddenly you get a notification. Your video has been taken down due to a copyright claim. Your ad sinks. All that hard work gone in an instant. It has happened to me on several occasions. Times very painful. But what if I told you that this nightmare scenario is completely avoidable? As a small YouTube channel and a fairly big YouTube channel owner, you need to pay attention to this information I am about to share with you. And another thing is that you can also use that original content in a way that's completely different from its original purpose. You are welcome back to Valutal TV and I am David. People call me Onkwali Kama. Today we'll be diving into the murky waters of copyright and fair use on YouTube. It's a topic that makes many creators nervous. But by the end of this video, you'll be navigating these issues like a pro. Let's get started. Unfortunately for you, it is gaining traction fast. Simply put, it's a form of intellectual property protection that gives creator exclusive right to their original works. These include things like music, videos, images, and written content. On YouTube, respecting copyright is very crucial. Not only is this the right thing to do, but it also keeps your channel in good standing. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Copyright strikes. It has happened to me, I think one or two occasions. YouTube operates on a three strike system. Then, let me now share this with you. Get three strikes within 90 days and your channel could be terminated forever. That's scary, right? But don't worry. We are going to make sure that that doesn't happen to you. That's why I need you to watch this video till the end. How do you avoid copyright issues? I have some key points for you to take note of. Number one, you need to use original content. The safest bet is always to create your own content from scratch. I know this is a very difficult thing to do as creators, but it is the best thing for you to do to grow your channel. Your original content must include your own footage, your music, and even your graphics. Number two, you need to get permission. If you want to use someone else's work, reach out and ask for permission. Many creators are happy to let you use their content if only you give them that credit. Three, use royalty-free resources. There are tons of websites offering royalty-free music, images, and footage. Some great options may include Epidemic Sound, Pixabay, Pexels, even YouTube itself has a free music or audio library for you to use. 4. Understand YouTube music policies. YouTube has a music policy page where you can search for songs and use it and how you can use them in your videos it will show you how to use them now, what about fair use fair use is a concept that is often misunderstood fair use allows limited use of copyright material without permission for purposes such as commentary criticism parody news reporting teaching, scholarship, or research. However, it, this is very important. Fair use is not a blanket protection. It's decided on a case-by-case -case basis. And we have to consider four factors before you can make good use of fair use. Number one is the purpose and character of the use. Number two is the nature of the copyright work. Number three is the amount and substantiality of the portion used. Then number four 
the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyright work. Let me now give you an example of what I have said previously. For example, using a short clip from a movie to critique it in a review video could be considered a fair use. But you uploading the entire movie and just adding a few comments, that's unlikely to fly. That is not a fair use. Then, let me teach you what to do if that is the case. If you are relying on fair use, make sure your video is clearly transformative, then add substantial commentary, edit the original content, whether it's a movie just like the movie I talked about, ensure that you edit the original content heavily. You don't just upload the whole video and you call it fair use. You will be, you will receive strike from YouTube if you do that. And another thing is that you can also use that original content in a way that's completely different from its original purpose. Don't because you want to get monetized, you upload other people's work and you term that fair use, you will receive a penalty. Now, what happens if you do not get a copyright claim? First, don't panic. A claim is not the same as a strike. If someone claims your video, they are just monetized it not taking it down then you have some options to do if you believe that the claim is incorrect you can dispute it if you have permission to use the content you can submit proof if the claim is valid you can choose to leave it as it is remove the copyrighted content or swap it out with something else so if somebody is claiming copyright on that which you have used these three things are what you should do to help you out. Remember, dealing with copyright issue is part of being a YouTuber. I know a lot of YouTube training, YouTube courses will not tell you this. And that is why I call this a crash course on YouTube copyright. Even big channels face these challenges of copyrights. The key is to be proactive, educate yourself, and always err on the side of caution. There you have it, my friend. This is the crash course in navigating copyright and fair use on YouTube. With this knowledge, you are now ready to create with confidence. Remember, when in doubt, always create original content or get explicit permission. Now, I've got a challenge for you. Take a look at your recent video. Is there anything in it that could potentially raise copyright issues? If so, how could you change it to make it safer? Drop your thought in the comment section below and I would love to hear your insight. If you love this video and you find this helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with a fellow creator. And if you want more tips like this on growing your YouTube and of course using digital tools to build wealth for yourself online, then click on the subscribe button and ring the bell trust me you won't want to miss what i have in stock for you next this is value tau tv and i am david reminding you that great content doesn't have to come at the cost of copyright infringement now go out there and create something amazing legally see you in the next video